So as you have seen earlier, we had only a few questions and answers in our project, which means that the chatbot will only be able to respond with few responses. We'll, we'll the chatbot will only have a few responses to choose from. But now I have added, as you can see, uh, many uh, other responses. Of course, you can add as many as you want. It doesn't matter. You can add as uh, as many as you want. You can add even 1,000 question and 1,000 answer. It doesn't matter. But the key to this is that you need to add questions that uh, that are that that are um, most likely the user are going to you to, to send you. So you if if your chatbot is used for maybe a, a for business purposes, then you need to add uh, business questions. For example, if your question is if your uh, project is about, for example, environmental science, then you might need to add here environmental science questions and answers something related to the purpose of your chatbot so so here in this example it's a general chatbot so here general very general questions so i have added these questions and again you can add as many as you want let me now save and let's test so before i test let me again walk you through the logic so the logic is that the chatbot is going to check whether the message is greater than five characters if it is then it's gonna use this array it's, it's gonna filter this array uh, and the criteria is to use the user message and try to compare it and match it with one of these questions. If there is a match, then a response, one of these responses will be sent to the user. Let me save and let's head on over to the browser to test. So now in the browser, if I refresh, so for example here, I'm going to say, what's your favorite food? And if I click on send, as you can see, it's going to say here, pizza. Because here in this array, we have, what is your favorite food? Of course, you need to, uh, again, you need to add the, the questions that the user might uh, ask you or the statements. They don't have to be, to be questions, by the way. They might be just simple statements. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to ask the chatbot, can you dance? And if I say, can you dance and send, it's going to say, yes, tango. So it worked successfully. And now, whenever there is a match, the chatbot is going to respond with one of these uh, answers that we have in our project.